This one is the most recent painting of Esther's. And uh, the Impressionism is evident here. You can see it in the sky, in the buildings, which forms sort of a, a cubist pattern. And then there's uh, the spire here of the, of the building, which dominates the scene and which uh, provides a focal point of attention. And then, together with the general sort of you know, view of the scene, you have the details of the birds flying in formation in the background as well. And this shows you know, how quickly she is advancing in her paintings. This one is a very, uh, uh, I think, a historically important you know, painting. It's a theme of uh, the first uh, woman who was actually uh, uh, you know, uh, taken to be a witch by the Salem authorities in the United States in the old Inquisition times in the United States. And this woman was a slave, and she was considered to be the first witch in Salem. I didn't even know this, you know, and I'm, I'm, I'm a student of history and political science, and I'm very impressed by uh, this theme here of this painting. Je vais dire en français, c'est une esclave qui était brûlée par les Inquisitions en Salem, aux États-Unis, pendant la chasse aux sorcières. La première sorcière. Sociale qui était brûlée. This is a cold, completely different style. You, you know, uh, Esther has a number of different styles. It's uh, interesting to see an artist who's developing, you know, has a number of different styles, not just one style uh, that's repeated, you know, but, uh, you know, a very, uh, uh, you know, modern, I would say, kind of a style, or postmodern, you might say, even. And this is, uh, this is the uh, dance of the young man of Kalotasek, <laughs> I think. <laughs> this is a very uh, stark, you know, very sort of a sharp, uh, you know, personality type of a portrait. And it shows the, uh, the mentality of the person. You see, when you have a portrait, uh, you know, the artist can do amazing things. You know, they, they show not just the image of the face, but they show the way the person thinks, their mentality. And this painting actually succeeds in showing the mentality of the person that is uh, given life, you know, by the artist. Very, uh, very good piece there. Now these are uh, a lot of work. These mandalas, you know, show uh, the uh, cultural influence of uh, India in terms of the mandala, but in Hungarian themes. And this one is um, the uh, uh, Tree of Life in red, Arbre de la de vie en rouge. Celui-là, uh, c'est Legend de l'Inde, Mirac, Hun Mandala. And uh, this one is the, uh, the tree in blue, Arbre de, de la Vie en Bleu. And here you can see the poster that uh, I made, actually, <laughs> with her painting to announce the exhibition. So I'd like to invite Esther to come and speak to you now. And. Uh, uh, Esther will speak with you in Hungarian to explain her exhibition as well. És ma megnéztem, és egy hosszabb szövegrész végén ez a mondat volt, hogy te ne terődj semmivel, csak az angyal szavával, aki munkára buzdít. Úgyhogy én ezzel kívánok mindenkinek kell most időtöltést a kiállításon, és magamnak sok munkát angyalok hangjára vagy. Köszönöm szépen! Thank you very much for coming to the Vernissage and enjoy. Yes,